So many people make this game a lot more difficult than it really is, right? This is a 12-year-old's game, but we somehow believe that it can't be as basic as it really is. We bring a level of complexity and difficulty to the market that does not exist in the market. We bring our doubts, our fears, our intellectual and emotional and psychological baggage. We bring our inappropriate concepts. We bring our faulty belief systems. We bring our insecurities. We bring all of that with us into the market. The market doesn't have those things. But we bring those things and make the game a lot more difficult than it is. If you really think about the, the mechanics of the market, it's primitive in nature. It is not a complex vehicle. It is the human, I'm always using this analogy, the human body is complex traders. We've got billions of processes going on right now, every split second of your existence. There are processes that are going on right now that you are not conscious of. That's basically keeping you alive, that's keeping you breathing, keeping your system okay. That's a complex entity. The markets have three things that it does over and over again. Up, down, sideways. Up, down, sideways. That is not a complex mechanism. That is not sophisticated. You understand? That's not very involved. That's primitive. Up, down, sideways. It can only throw you up or down or sideways. That's all. And if you know how to handle yourself in each one of those three states, you should probably start having an okay experience. But it doesn't feel that simple. It doesn't feel that primitive or basic because we bring our own complexity to the game. Think about this, guys. Microsoft trades the same way for you as it does for me, as it does for Warren Buffett, as it does for anybody. The market is the most democratic item out there. It is not out to get you. It doesn't have problems. We are the problem most of the time if we're having a difficult time, right? What is, what is our number one problem? We're fighting what the market is doing. When the market is going up, remember there's only three things, we're trying to think that it should go down. When the market is going down, we think it should be going up. When it's going sideways, we think some think it should go up from there. Some think it should go down from there. But we never focus on what it's doing. And so most of our problems go away when you just focus on which one is it doing and let's go that way until it changes. That solves so many of our trading issues right there. Trading what's in your face. Trading what is obvious. Trading what is real. Trading what is going on right now, not what you think is going to go on, but what is going on right now. Most people think that you have to predict the future to be good at this. No, you have to be a good reader of the now. You have to root, be able to root yourself into the current reality of the market. And so whenever you paint an idea that is different from the current reality, you're trying to play God. That's ego-based trading. You're basically saying to the market, I don't trust or believe what you're putting in my face right now. I think that you should be doing something different. And I'm going to bet with my creation. I'm not going to bet with what's real right now. I'm not going to bet with what's in my face. I'm going to bet with what I have created in my mind that should happen. That is the biggest ego trip in the world, and that's what leads to consistent losing. Most traders will start doing okay if they just say, look, which way is the market's winds going? Oh, this way? I go that way. Or wait a minute, winds are blowing this way? Okay, now I go that way. The game can be as simple as that. And you guys know that I have a very simple but very powerful way of doing that. What is this? When you lick your finger, you put it into the air to determine which way the wind blows. The 20 period moving average. The 20 period moving average is going this way, you go that way. If it's going that way, you go that way. If it's going this way, you can do both, but I'd sidestep that. So. 
this is not as complex as a lot of us make it. But listen, I've been there before. I've been at the place where I was overcomplicating every single thing, believing that I need to predict what's not there, to anticipate what's going to be next. No, play what's now. Root yourself in the now. Be able to read what is happening now and play what's happening now. Understanding that there can only be three nows. Up, that's one now. Down, that's another now. Sideways, that's another now. Now, now, no pun intended, we need three tool bags. A tool bag for up, a tool bag for down, a tool bag for sideways. And so now, if we match the right tool bag for the right now, we eliminate a big percentage of our problems. Still no guarantee that you're going to be successful, but it makes the move or the journey towards success a lot easier if you're matching the right tool bag with the right now. If you've got the wrong tool bag and the wrong now, you have absolutely no choice no chance of turning this game into anything all right does that make sense guys am I, am I making sense or is it coming across to you like Greek <laughs>